very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have talked about what are pie charts in our Matplotlib. In our today's session, we'll be learning how to plot a box plot. So guys, as the name itself is suggesting, a box plot it looks it looks like a box basically. Let's have a look on how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. You can see different things over here. So we have one center line. We have a box over here. Then some lines are there. Then uh, we have some diagonal line. And then we have some one horizontal line over here. And then we have some uh, dots over here. We'll understand what are all these things. Let's understand first of all that what is a box plot and how to read a box plot first of all. Okay, reading a box plot is very simple. Suppose if you have a straight line like this. Suppose this is your x-axis and you have some values. Like first of all, let's take some values like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14, and 16. Okay, and you have some values like this. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 1 value over here on 10. Okay, now what how to plot a box plot is we need to find that uh, where exactly the so center of this, this side it has 5 values, this side it has 5 values. So here we will be having the median over here, right? So the median will be here. So one line, let's create one line over here which would give us the center value. Okay, now after this we need to find the 25% on this side and 75% on this side. So 25% on this side for example it comes over here. Okay, then another 75% uh, that is our third quartile over here that comes over here for let's say or this one comes over here. Then the third line over here is our 75% quartile. So this one is quartile 1, this one is our quartile. Two. Okay, this one is for 25, this one is 75 and then we have one diagonal lines which are uh, 1.5 of the quartiles. Okay, so we have these lines over here which goes to here. According to us, this one should go up to here but because this point over here is so far. So what do we do? In that case, we, we don't go till here but we only go till here and keep this point, this uh, value that is coming outside as a outlier. This one is called as outlier. This one is called as whiskers. This one is our median. So this is how basically a box plot is plot that we have a box which looks like this whose center value is the median. The first one is the quartile one. The second one is the quartile. On both the sides, uh, the horizontal or in this case it is vertical. So on both the sides, the vertical ends over here are called as whiskers. And uh, the dot which is coming on the outside, that means the dot which is there on the outside that is called as outlier. So guys, now that we have seen how to read a box plot, let's learn how to plot it as well in our matplotlib. For that, first of all, let's import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and let's import numpy as np. Once we have imported both of them, let's get our x's over here as well. So I'll be taking np.random.c. That means we'll be getting the fixed values over here. Let's put it as 2. Okay. And over here, uh, the value for x axis would be np dot random, and we'll be taking a normal distribution over here. That's why I'll be writing normal and seventy comma ten comma two hundred. Let's not keep it two thousand, but two hundred. And let's plot a plot over here. So plt dot box plot because we are plotting a box plot over here. We'll be writing box plot, and in this, I'll be passing my x axis, and we'll write plt dot show. Open close the parentheses. Let's run and see what output we'll get. So as soon as we run it, this is the output over here. The center line over here is median that is on R70. And then we have on both the sides, we have the quartile 1. So this is our quartile 1. This is our quartile 2. Okay. Then we have these uh, horizontal lines. These horizontal lines are whiskers and the, uh, some there are some points which are outside the whiskers. Those points are called as outliers. So this is what our box plot looks like. Now this is right now only one box plot. If you want to plot multiple block box plot, in that case we can write over here. Again, let's import both the libraries. I'll just copy them from here and paste them here. Again, let's take a normal seed over here. So np dot normal dot seed. And again, we can let's let's say this time we are taking it as ten. Okay, x is equals to np dot random dot normal distribution will be taking will be taking the start i'll be taking the starting value as 70 um then 10 then 10 and then comma 100 or let's take it up to 200 now what i'll be doing every time i i will increase this medium from 70 to let's say 80 okay every time it will be increased by 10 okay so here we have x1 let's say so x1 is equals to np dot random dot normal so i'll be writing normal here 
and here we'll be writing 80 instead of uh, 70 because I have increased it by 10 again I'll be keeping uh, 10 over here and 200 then x1 uh, after the x1 we have x2 is equals to np dot random dot normal and here we'll be writing 90 comma 10 comma 200 x3 we have x3 is equal to let's say because we want four or five of them so we can just put as many times as we want so let's take four of them that four box plots will be there and dot normal this time i'm keeping it as 100 comma 10 comma 100 sorry it should be 200 right and the data over here would be data is equals to we'll create a list of x x1 x2 and x3 x comma x1 comma x2 comma x3 which will be passing inside our box plot so plt dot box plot where we will be having our data we'll write plt dot show open close the parentheses uh, np dot normal dot seed okay it's not normal it's basically random so i have written uh, i have made a mistake here and it shouldn't be caps lock as well so np dot random dot seed okay this is how our box plot looks like. So we have uh, we have uh, four box plo box plots. One has uh, 70. One the medium of one of them has 70. The other one is 80. The other one is 90. And the other one over here is on 100. Okay. So this is how we have obtained the values. We can see over here we have outliers as well. If you want to disable these outliers, we have a one, one very simple method. We can write outliers is equals to and we can pass the value in boolean okay instead of outliers it's show flyers basically uh, we don't call uh, we don't call it outliers directly but we will be writing show flyers so if you do not want to show flyers here uh, these values are basically called as outliers but if you do not want to show them we can write show flyers and we can keep the value as false over here so it would disable the show fly the flyers over here basically okay which are on the outside so that's why they are called as outliers okay makes sense now another uh, another one more thing you have seen that when when i was showing you the box plot there were some colorful box plots there now uh, filling the color over here is not that way like we cannot simply fill the color over here we cannot simply write the color here and add the colors but there is another method by which we can add colors to it let's have a look on how we can add colors to our box plots so here i'll be taking this whole data again I'll just copy this whole data and paste it here. Once I've got this whole, whole data, I'll be creating a variable called as box because I'm creating a box plot which will have plt dot box plot. Inside this, I'll be passing the value that is our data. Okay. And uh, what else I'll be needing is the patch artist. That means we need to add color over here. So patch underscore artist is equals to it takes the value in boolean so i'll be writing true over here we can define the colors so we have four boxes so i'll be defining four colors over here so red magenta hot pink and pink okay so we have given four colors here now i'll be using a for loop to fill all these colors inside the box plotted box plot so what we'll be doing for uh we will be writing patch comma color in and zip means that we will iterate them parallelly so we'll be a zip method over here iterates parallelly so zip and we will be doing it inside the box and in each boxes here comma our colors would be equal to we'll be having colors here colon patch comma set underscore face color we are going to set the face color over here that's why we'll be writing patch dot set underscore face face color and here inside this we'll be passing our colors lastly we'll be writing plt dot show let's run and see so right now we are getting the color but we are not getting these colors so somewhere i have made a mistake over here it should be color it should over here it should be color instead of colors and now we have received the colors over here we have red we have magenta then hot pink and pink so what basically i have done let's understand this that i have written for patch and color in zip so because it it goes parallelly over here so we are matching what we are matching the box over here with the color and then we are iterating inside the boxes and inside the boxes each box is iterated with the each colors which is there inside this list after that we have written patch dot set face color that means in the patch in each box we need to set the face color and what would be that color which we are iterating over here so these color will be set inside over here and you can provide with different colors and you can set all the colors manually like that so I hope guys that the box plot over here is clear to you like how to read a box plot, what is a box plot, How? what are outliers, what is uh, quartile 1, what is quartile 2 over here, what is the median basically. So I hope all these things are clear to you.
So guys, in our next session, we are going to talk about stem plot. So stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.